Today we are going to talk about the Swallowtail SD airbrushes from the Galeri Ace series. I'm excited about this airbrush and I'm going to talk about more why as we get into the video. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to talk about this beautiful airbrush. Yes, Mike, it's another trigger brush. You've already talked about these. This one is different because it is a side feed, gravity fed airbrush and a siphon feed. It's an all-in-one game-changing airbrush. And I'm excited about it because this is Galeri's Ace series and it's just got a lot of good features, a lot of good things to add to your paint shop all-in-one airbrush. So before we hop into getting this guy out of the box, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like model building and all that fun stuff, which we're about to start digging into some big builds, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you enjoy seeing these kind of unboxings of these different airbrushes and paint brushes and paint kits and all that kind of stuff because guys, the big project is about to get started very, very soon. And all these videos that I've been doing of all these pieces of equipment, parts, compressors, all that are all gonna be needed to do that project. So let's get this guy out of the box. Now, I've already been in the box. I couldn't wait. Really nice, clean pl Galeri uh, pl PL band keychain was nicely in the box. I've already popped it open. But you guys can see this airbrush has a lot of cool features. Nice grips, lots of parts, bells and whistles. But again, it is a siphon feed or gravity feed. Now, Mike, why is that important? Well, depends on how you want to use the airbrush. And there's another feature to this airbrush that kind of makes things really, really cool. So we've got the Galeri instructions, how to take care of your airbrush, all that kind of stuff. Do you guys want me to do an airbrush maintenance video? If so, hit me down in the comments down below and I'll definitely get that on my playlist. But you guys can see this gun is nice looking, clean, sleek, and ready to go. I'm gonna get the gun out itself. You've got a really nice looking gun here. And you can see inlet, but wait, what if I'm left-handed? You know, I'm a right-hander most of the time, but what if I'm left-handed? Well, that's the cool part is you can take a pair of pliers, unscrew this, move it over here, and have the paint on the other side of the gun. So this gun is very much ready for an amide to be ambidextrous. So a left it's designed to allow you to move the feeds to either side, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, which is kind of above norm. You don't normally see that. But guys, take a look at the gravity cup for this. Now again, it's a dual action trigger. So press a little bit for air, press harder for paint. Really simple, really clean gun, really well built, nice handle. I love that it comes with the quick connect already on there. Now, if you need the other piece of the quick connect, you have to order that from Galeri. My link to Galeri is down below, along with my 10% discount code. If you enter that code at checkout, that Rise 3D Builds code, you'll get 10% off your entire order. So keep that in mind. And you know, using my affiliate link, I make a little money too, which is great. But this gun, clean trigger, dual action, really good hand fit. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I got a pretty big hand. And the nice thing is, look at this gravity cup. That sucker's huge good size gravity cup and the other part of it is the siphon um, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of siphon airbrushing because um, I like making up my paint in the jar having a good amount of it for example I use a lot of lead belcher well I can make a batch and keep using the same batch I don't have to worry about remixing it and oh no I have to blend it my colors not gonna look right I don't have to worry about that I have a good amount of it made and ready to go and ready to plug in to my airbrush. Now, granted, for a right-hander, that's not bad. That's not great positioning for me for that siphon. I would want to undo this, which unfortunately where I'm at right now, I don't have a pair of pliers to undo that, but you guys can see the siphon feed just plugs right in. Now, remember when you're doing a siphon, you need a little bit more pressure because that pressure is creating a vacuum and needs to suck the paint off, paint up into the brush and still blow the paint up out of the brush. So keep that in mind. 
but we've got the siphon, then we've got the gravity feed. And that is a nice big gravity feed cup. Press in place, you're ready to go. Nice, clean, easy fit, and well packed. And it also comes with a .28 needle and a .5 needle. This is the .5 if you want to do larger spray, larger projects. You would change this guy out and the end fitting here to the end of the gun. To uh, accommodate that, you've got your spare bits for the .5, your internals that you would need to change out. Then the one problem with their boxing like this is getting all the bits out. So basically this is the other spray end that you can take off and put on. And you actually have multiples of these in the box here. You also have your spare O-rings, which is always handy with a gun like this because um, they, they do wear out, guys. The guns wear out over time. You're using a gun, you're putting chemicals through it, you get a fan cup, you get a nozzle cup, the .05 actual internal nozzle, O-ring for the nozzle. You're already set up for the .028, which is fairly nicely detailed and close spray, depending on how much pressure you're pushing. And if you're doing a lot of painting, both cups are good. So if you're using a pre-mixed airbrush paint, go with your gravity feed. If you're mixing stuff yourself and you're gonna be using a bunch of it, I'd use your siphon feed, because what's cool is, and what I do with my siphon cups, is I've got a rubber casket that goes over the top of this to close off the cup so my paint don't dry, at least not quickly. You don't want to leave it in there for months, but usually when I'm working on a project like an Imperial Knight or a Starship, I may need that same color to come back and touch up multiple times as I paint that project. And usually when I start painting a project, I try to paint it all within, a, at least that frame, for, that segment of a project all within a week. So really nice, comfortable handle, solid looking construction. All in all, I'm impressed by this airbrush. And I think when I went out and picked it up, this was about $100. Um, price might have gone up because it was the new release sale um, when I ordered mine, but definitely a good one to have in your arsenal and work with. And, uh, and some people get on to me too. Well, Mike, our gravity feeds are just easier and better. They are easier than siphons, but siphons have their place in the workshop. Now, like me, the big projects that I tend to work on are big projects, you know, like two foot long models and uh, body armor and cosplay kits where this comes in handy for me. So kind of keep that in mind as uh, you look and start purchasing your gear for your shop. Now, have I done a major overhaul? Yeah, I, I spent a lot of money to overhaul my, print, my, my hobby shop because as I transition to being a more of a studio build, it's definitely kind of one of those things that fit me. So guys, if you're looking for a good gun that kind of does everything in both, go check out the Swallowtail SD. I think you'll enjoy it, and you're definitely gonna see it coming up in a couple of videos as we start working on several major projects this year. So hope you guys enjoyed the information. If you did or have questions, please hit me up down in the description down below. And at the same time, if you're new here and you're interested in watching these new builds and all this fun stuff getting ready to start commencing after we get through all the products we're gonna be using, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.